and welcome back to my channel. This is Kendra. Today I'll be sharing a project share video. This is going to be 15 cards that I made using the Sweet Valentine Wishes paper pad and ephemera from Not Too Shabby Shop. If you're not familiar with Kendra's card challenge number five, it's a quarterly card challenge. And this particular one ends on March 31st of 2022. I will link a video to this particular challenge where I introduced it with all of the details on how it works up here at the top and also in the description box below. But let me first show you the patterns that are in this paper pad. And these first six are the ones that I chose to use for the cards that I'm sharing with you today. So as you can see here, there are some wonderful Valentine's Day patterns, but there's also some other patterns that will work for more than just Valentine's Day. You can use them for other occasions. And the back sides have different plaid patterns on them. And so like I said, these are the six that I chose to use to cut out using the cutting templates for Kendra's Car Challenge 5. And I will show you the other patterns that I'm going to probably use next Valentine's Day since I'm just now getting around to sharing this with you. I had planned on sharing this before Valentine's Day, but life kind of got in the way and then I had to start making the uh, sketches for card challenge number six. So here are the other patterns and I think these are wonderful too. My plan was to make a set of 30 cards, but I was doing good just to get these 15 done. So here are the, the second set of six that I would use, but there are 12 double-sided patterns and there are two each just so you know and then the ephemera I'll show you that here as well in just a moment so here are the cutting templates that I used to cut out all six of the sheets of paper and you just really want to make sure that you coordinate the ones that if you look at the card sketches that have more than one color just make sure that those two patterns coordinate together and here are the card sketches. Like I said, I will link that video down below that explains how to cut up the papers and also give some more card making inspiration. So here is the ephemera. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. I want to um, lay these out so that you can see all of the different ephemera that is available in this pack. I didn't use all of all of the ephemera, which you'll see, but for most of the cards that I am sharing with you today, I did use something some type of element from this ephemera pack and then i also used some sentiment strips from simon says stamp so all 15 of my cards i did no stamping it was either using ephemera the sentiment strips or die cuts so as you can see there are some very cute gnomes here and some other valentine images so this is card sketch number one I used the cute little gnome and the sentiment strip that says, I truly adore you. Now for embellishing all of the cards that I'm sharing with you today, I used the hugs and kisses mix from This Cause for Confetti. It's a mix of polymer clay, confetti sequins, and then some beads. And so you'll see that I've kind of glued some little pieces onto each of the cards as I go through. This is card sketch number two. Rather than using the oval piece, I just used this birdhouse ephemera and then I used the sentiment strip that says to the happy couple. And then I also added a strip of Love from Lizzie red. It's a sticker. It's a sticker strip from Love from Lizzie. And then I put some of those confetti sequins all around. Here is card sketch number three. And instead of doing this um, landscape, I turned it portrait and I added, instead of using the circle, I used the coffee mug and uh, it says in celebration of love. So really you could use this as an anniversary card. A lot of these, it doesn't necessarily say happy Valentine's day. So you could use it for other occasions, maybe stamp happy birthday on the inside. Like for example, this one, this is card sketch number four. Um, and this has the different, all, almost all of the papers in this particular sketch, but it's got the banners there. And then I added the with love die cut. And I believe that's from tonic studios. I will link that in the description box below in case you're interested, but it fit perfectly. And I didn't really want to 
add a piece of white since I used the um, the card base it was a colored card base here is card sketch number six nope seven I think I'm off on my numbers anyway all of the card sketches are in the top right hand corner but uh, this one says Thank you from the bottom of my heart so i could use this as a thank you card that cute little gnome there this one's pretty simple compared to my other cards and then here is the next one <laughs> this one says you are my love and i used the little xoxo clay pieces that were in that um, hugs and kisses mix now this cause for confetti is one of our prize sponsors for kendra's card challenge number five so I hope that uh, you'll check them out. And then this is the next card sketch. This one actually calls for either using an embossing folder or a stencil for the top portion of this. So I used some Glitz Glitter Gel on um, with a stencil that's uh, like doodle swirls. And then I added the little double layered tag and another little sentiment piece from Simon Says Stamp with the bow on top. Okay, so I just checked my numbers. We are now on card sketch number eight. I apologize. But this one, I, instead of using the white piece that's on the sketch, I just glued the gnome directly onto that, that panel there. And then I added the three little heart-shaped clay pieces that say love. And I added that sentiment strip. I thought that one was really cute. This is card sketch number nine. And I decided not to use the bow on the last one and on this one just because I thought it was just too busy. The pattern paper, it was just too much. So for this one, um, just kept this one pretty simple. And I did glue some little confetti sequins on the bottom portion down there. And then for card sketch number 10, the card sketch calls for a stitched oval piece. And so it's a little bit smaller, but this gnome fit perfectly inside. So I thought that that worked out pretty good. And then I used the sentiment strip that says, I love sharing my heart with you. And I didn't really add anything else to that other than that one little clay heart there on the right. And then for card sketch number 11, this entire challenge, I've used card sketch 11 and I've created shaker cards, but this time I, I decided to keep it pretty simple. I did use the same die from Cat Scrappiness. Um, with the three different patterns behind it and I used a piece of ephemera in the middle and a sentiment strip that says love is not what you say it's what you do and that one could be used for several different occasions and now we're on card sketch number 12 and instead of covering up this really neat pattern I just decided to leave the white piece off altogether and glue the gnome directly onto that um, it did have a white border, so I thought it, it stood out okay. Typically, I wouldn't do this, but um, this one says, I'll never stop falling in love with you. So again, this one could be used for anniversary or Valentine's Day. Just stamp the inside. And then now we're on sketch number 13. And I think this is probably my favorite. I don't know if it's just because I love the ephemera piece, but um, this one says, I love sharing my heart with you. And it's got that rose strip there um but yeah and I, I i think this one is it's probably my favorite i'm not really sure why but it's got the three uh, confetti sequins in the top left corner like the sketch calls for and then sketch number 14 this one um i decided to add the sentiment strip on that bottom piece and it's, that says you are my everything and that gnome holding the heart i just think is adorable so i would probably stay up ha happy valentine's day on the inside and use this as a Valentine's card for next year. And then card number 15. This one I made into presents and I just added a sentiment strip on top that says I love you. And I used the love from Lizzie peel off stickers to outline the tops of the, the presents there. And then the background is an embossed heart um, embossing folder that I have had in my stash for a very long time. But it just kind of adds to the the extra flair of this and so here are all 15 of the cards that I made using the not too shabby sweet valentine wishes paper pad and ephemera I apologize for not getting this out sooner but it literally has taken me this long just to, to get through um, making it all and also doing other cards and other videos so I really hope you like these please let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite 
And also, if there's anything that you saw today that you might be interested in, I will link all of the products that I use to create these cards in the description box. So like I mentioned before, this particular challenge ends on March 31st, and a new one will begin on April 1st, and that'll be card challenge number six. And I'm just finishing that up, so if you are interested in getting access to card challenge number six early, please uh, consider becoming a supporter or a patron for my channel. I will put a link in the description box below for more information. You can get other member perks as well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.